आउज बिल्लाजीम बिस्मिल्लाम यू आर लिसनिंग इंजीनियर फैसल एजाज एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यूरी इंडस्ट्री आई वॉन्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस दैट माई चैनल हैव कम्प्लीट लेक्चर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन इन लिस्टेड इंडस्ट्रीज विद प्रोसेस डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड फ्लो शीट्स ऑल्सो डी ए मैथीमेटिक्स एंड अदर केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट्स वीडियोज आर अवेलेबल इन माई चैनल सो टू गेट माई लेटेस्ट वीडियोज यू मस्ट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस कंप्लीट मैनुफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ यूरिया इंडस्ट्री एंड वी विल डिस्कस फॉलोइंग कॉन्टेंट्स द फर्स्ट वन इज बेसिक्स ऑफ यूरिया द सेकेंड वन आर रॉ मटीरियल्स द थर्ड वन आर मैनुफैक्चरिंग स्टेप्स इन विच वी विन इन लिस्ट ऑल द मैनुफैक्चरिंग स्टेप्स एंड द फोर्थ वन इज प्रोसेस डिस्क्रिप्शन इन विच वी विल प्रोवाइड डिटेल ऑफ ईच मैनुफैक्चरिंग स्टेप एंड finally we will present process follow sheet of urea industry basics of urea the first one is formula you can see which is nh2co nh2 and you can see the structure of that formula the second one are raw materials and two types of raw material uh, which is uh, ammonia gas and the second one is carbon dioxide gas and uh, you must remember both uh, reactants are in gaseous phase and uh, third one uh, is chemical reaction uh, which is in two stages and uh, in the first uh, step Uh, CO2 and NH3 are reacted and form ammonium carbonate and uh, in second stage ammonium uh, carbonate decompose into urea in the production process of urea following manufacturing steps are involved the first one is reaction between nh3 and co2 gas and the second one is stripping process the third one is decomposing process and the fourth one is concentration of urea with the help of evaporators and the fifth one is prilling of urea its mean we will convert a liquid solution into grains process description and in this description we will explain each manufacturing step in detail the first step is reaction between nh3 and co2 gas so uh, in this reaction of uh, ammonia and carbon dioxide gas we obtain ammonium carbamate you can observe uh, that product uh, in that picture which in the form of uh, white crystals and uh, the structure and molecular formula is also provided so uh, the process of uh, manufacturing ammonium carbamate take place in a big vessel which is called autoclave you can observe that autoclave in that diagram and uh, the feed of that autoclave consists of two type of gases mixture the first one is a mixture of nh3 and co2 gas with the ratio 3.5 and 1 also recycled gases are entered into uh, this autoclave uh, to economic of that process and uh, after reaction between these two mixtures we found the following products the first one is ammonium carbamate which is an exothermic reaction and the second one is urea but its concentration is low at this stage which is 32% and uh, third one is unreacted ammonia gas and carbon dioxide gases and uh, the following uh, process conditions are take place uh, during this reaction the temperature uh, taking between 180 and 90 centi degree and uh, pressure taking uh, between 60 of kg per centimeter square as a result of reaction uh, these three products uh, formed and these all three products sent to the next section which is called stripping section so in this section urea solution uh, is passed through a long vessel which is called a stripper 
so the purpose of stripping process is to separate unreacted ammonia gas and carbon dioxide gas so these separation take place at temperature 200 centigrade and uh, taking pressure 160 kg per centimeter square so after stripping these separated gases again sent to autoclave and uh, then formation of uh, carbamate take place uh, already we have discussed that uh, autoclave have two type of uh, uh, feeds uh, one is uh, recycled and the second is uh, ammonia and carbon dioxide gas so these gases uh, which is uh, separated during stripping process uh, is one feed of uh, that uh, autoclave next section is decomposing section so the decomposition of uh, ammonium carbamate take place and uh, we get uh, the concentration of uh, urea so the concentration of uh, urea uh, increase from 32 percent to 78 percent after composition of carbamate so uh, that decomposition take place at two steps at two different pressures at first stage a medium pressure is used which is uh, uh, taken uh, 26 kg per centimeter uh, square and uh, at the second uh, stage in a separate decomposer uh, the pressure is taking 5 kg per centimeter square so uh, gases obtained during decompositions are recycled in this process and uh, we get 78 percent pure urea and uh, then for more concentration it is sent to the evaporators next step is evaporation and here we concentrate urea solution and its concentration increase from 78 percent to 99.7 percent so for this concentration achievement we use two evaporators in the first evaporator uh, we provide temperature 120 centi degree and vacuum 3 uh, kg per centimeter square so after that we get uh, only 90 percent concentrated uh, urea solution uh, so to increase it uh, from uh, 90 to 99.7 percent we use uh, a second uh, evaporator uh, which increase its concentration from 90 to 99.7 percent after getting 99.7% concentrated solution, we uh, sent it to the next section which is a prilling tower and uh, that tower have height 200 feet and uh, dia around 20 to 25 feet. So a basket is fitted at the top of that tower. So uh, we shower that concentrated solution at the top and uh, from the bottom of that tower we sent a cold air. Uh, so uh, during this traveling and uh, counter current contact to the uh, cool air uh, we uh, convert uh, this uh, concentrated liquid urea into solid grains so uh, we achieve the prills uh, which also called grains and uh, you can see this process uh, from this diagram uh, a shower is provided at the top and uh, a cold air is uh, sent from bottom and uh, after counter current react uh, we get urea prills so the next section is only packing and uh, that was the overall process of urea formation at end urea manufacturing process flow sheet is provided so you can draw that flow sheet at a paper as I have discussed all the detail of these boxes in process description so you can match that detail with each box and uh, after that I hope you will understand it quickly so uh, best of luck and thanks to join us